Hello everyone and welcome. You know, a few days back I came across this tire inflator on Amazon and it looked like a fairly decent unit. After reading through the specs on this unit, I thought it might be something that you guys, my viewers, might be interested in. So I ordered it to test it out. This is why I do product reviews so you don't have to. This tire inflator claims to be very compact, lightweight, fast at inflating tires, and has a good price. So I thought I would give it a shot and see how it performs. Hopefully, it'll live up to what it promises. So let's do some testing and see how this puppy performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. Let's open this puppy up, see what I got this time. Alright guys, so when you pull it out of the box, this is what you get. It comes all stored away nice and neat in this hard ABS storage case. Nice storage case right there. And there's some of the specs if you want to read it. There you go, you can pause the video, look at the specs on that, and then we'll continue from there. Anyway, so this is what you get. I'll open it up in just a moment and take a look at it. But in case you're curious, this case, basically the dimensions on it, to see how convenient it is for storing it in your vehicle, is 13 by 8 inches by 5 inches in thickness. And when you open it up, everything is nice and neatly stored inside, making it very easy to store it away and to access it when you need it. So let me pull all this out of here and talk more about it. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now, this is a GoBiggy portable battery-operated tire inflator available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $67.97, but they also have a 20% off discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And to be honest, that is not a bad price because the last tire inflator that I tested with this similar design was around 90 bucks. So 67 bucks plus a discount is cheaper than that one was. So that's pretty decent right there. And we'll see if this one is the same or better than that one. Now the warranty on this unit is two years. So what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the tire inflator itself. You get the battery to power it up. It's a 21 volt rechargeable lithium ion battery. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to take care of it, how to charge it up, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through it. You get a storage case that we already talked about. You get the charger for the battery and you get some nozzle tips and so forth to put on here for inflating all sorts of things like inflatable pools, balls, sports equipment, etc. Now the dimensions on this unit are basically 7 inches by 9 inches by 3 inches in thickness. So fairly compact dimensions as far as using this. It's like a compact drill, like a battery operated drill. Now this unit is powered by a 9000 milliamp 21 volt rechargeable battery like I mentioned. And the cool thing about this battery is that it is a Makita compatible battery. So if you already have any kind of Makita batteries, you got plenty of extra batteries to use with this guy right here because it is compatible compatible based on my examination. Now, according to the Amazon page, this unit claims to have enough power from one charge of the battery to fill up four tires on your vehicle from zero to 35 PSI on one battery. So that means you don't need to be recharging it. Even if all your tires are flat, you can go around and fill them all up and still be okay. So that's pretty decent right there. And we'll do some testing in a little while and see how it performs. Now this unit has a high airflow rate of 50 liters per minute, which they claim can fill a tire a 245-55-16 or a 195-55-15 in about 3 minutes. So we'll see exactly how that pans out in a little while when we do some inflation testing. This unit does have a built-in LED light right there as you can see that right there and that is helpful when you're working at night and stuff like that and you can't see what you're doing. This little guy right here helps you with that. Let's put in the battery. And you can see when you hit the nozzle, first of all, it has an unlock and lock right here. So you want to unlock it. And you see right there, there's your LED light. And that lights up whatever it is you're trying to do very nicely. It also has a nice digital display on the back that tells you exactly what level you're at when you're inflating your tire and so forth. And you can preset it to shut off at whatever level you want. It is also adjustable where you can see it in either PSI, bar, or KPA, so you can use whatever units are convenient for you. So this little guy is great for keeping the tires inflated on your car, your truck, 
motorcycles, SUVs, sports equipment, or anything else without having to worry about a cord. Having a convenient storage case makes it super easy to keep in your vehicle and take with you anywhere in case you have a leak or a breakdown on the road at some point. It's also convenient if you like to do a lot of off-roading where you need to deflate your tires. Well, when you come off the trails, you need to reinflate your tires. It's convenient to have this guy portable and battery operated right there in your vehicle, easy to go anytime you need it. So let's do a little bit of testing and see how this guy performs. All right, guys, before we start doing some testing, I wanted to point out one of the convenient things about this inflator is that you can use it as a tire gauge. All you do is press the button here in the middle and it turns on and it tells you exactly what is in your tire even before you need to check it. Like, for example, this tire right here is already above the target, so I don't need to inflate this tire. I'm going to deflate it for testing purposes, but I'm showing you right now before I start that it works perfectly as a tire gauge, so you can just go around and check your tires without having to pull out a separate gauge. It inflates, and it tells you what your tires are at right now. So it's a good maintenance tool so when you're doing basically weekly checking or something like that on your tires of your vehicle, so you know that you're properly inflated if you you have a flat somewhere. Another cool thing about this is that it has this storage area right up here. So if you disconnect it from the tire and you're going to put it away, you can just do it like that, put it away, carry it around, do it, whatever you need to do. If you're not going to put it back in the storage case, you're just going to carry it like this. That's very convenient for you right there. And also it turns itself off in a few moments. So you don't need to do that, but you can always press the button right there, zero it out, and it'll turn itself off. Like I said, in a few moments, for conserving the battery, so you don't need to worry about that. There we go, that's a closer look at it right there. Let's do some testing and see how this guy performs. All right guys, so let's do some testing and see how this guy performs. As you can see right there, I deflated the tire down to 15 PSI. I don't wanna go any lower because I don't wanna mess up the rim or the bead on the tire or something like that because it has the full pressure of the car on it. I'm doing it on a mounted tire, so you have the pressure of the car pushing down on it as it's being inflated, making it even harder for the unit to perform. If it's unmounted and you have a loose tire like a spare tire, it would be a lot easier to inflate. So this will make the test even harder. Over here we have the timer that I'm gonna start up and see how long it takes to go. I set it at 15 right now, it's down to 15 I should say, and I set it up to 35, so it should turn itself off at 35 PSI. So let's start it up and see what it can do. There you have it guys, four minutes. Actually it said that it could do it in three minutes, so it only missed the target by one minute. That is pretty darn good right there. From 15 to 35 in four minutes is really good with the pressure of the vehicle on it. Remember, it's filling it up with air and pushing up the car at the same time. So that's pretty decent. Actually the last unit that I tested to give you a reference point, the last one that I tested that was this similar design took like 10 minutes to do this same amount of inflation. So this one is twice as fast as that other one because it cut the time in half. So from 10 minutes to four minutes on this unit, this makes a vast improvement over the last one that I tested. So that's pretty decent right there. And this one's actually half the price. So this is a much better product right here. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the Gobagi portable tire inflator. I think this is a really great unit. It's compact and lightweight. It's battery operated, so no cords to worry about. It's fast at inflating a car tire, so it'll be even faster for inflating a motorcycle or ATV tires. It's also very efficient with battery use. 
In filling that one tire, it consumed a negligible amount of battery power. The battery still shows that it's full, so that means it has plenty of power to go around and fill up all the remaining tires. This unit also comes in a convenient storage case to carry it with you anywhere you go. So far, this is the fastest tire inflator that I have tested. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.